the truth and the power of the gospel is not discovered by human genius. It is revealed by the power of God. But can I reassure you of something? God does not withhold his salvation Amen. to all who confess that Jesus is Lord and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead will be saved. But it is the power and the work of God. And because it is his power, it's because he is the one who reveals this knowledge, we cannot win people with lofty arguments or fancy language. We proclaim Christ crucified and he does the work. So we can be bold. We can trust that he will work through us if we are faithful, if we step forward, if we get out of our comfort zone. And he wants to use us. He has called us and commanded us to go. But this isn't even the greatest mystery of the gospel. Not only is it that God reveals the power of the gospel, not only is he the one who gives people the ability to understand, but in verse 27, we're told that the riches of the glory is this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. We are not only forgiven by God, we're not only reconciled to the Father, but God dwells with us, in us. The spirit of Christ has been given to every follower of Christ that empowers us to walk by faith, to walk in obedience, and to do the things that God has commanded of us. He doesn't leave us to our own wandering. He doesn't leave us to our own strength. He doesn't leave us to our own cunning. He empowers us by his spirit. He gives us the ability to understand his word. He leads us and he guides us. What a mercy, what a grace. And because Christ dwells within us, he fills us with a hope of future glory, knowing that one day we will be with him. 